What's going on ladies and lads? Today I want to show you guys how to set up Plutonium Modern Warfare 3 in 2025. I have a tutorial like this that I've done before, but it is updated just so you guys are, you know, in the loop. You're going to start off with the obvious one, which is to download Plutonium. Once that's done downloading, you're going to go to the forum and you're going to create an account here in the top right. Now, after you've created your account, you're going to go ahead and launch Plutonium. For the first time, it's going to give you a lot of startup and loading and downloading some files, but then it's ultimately going to bring you to this screen where you log in. That's where you're going to put in your information for the account you just made, and just like that, you're into Plutonium. For those of you guys who don't know, you can get Modern Warfare 3 for free on Steam, legally, with no issues. All you have to do is go into your library, you're going to change the top left from game uh, to have games and tools, and you're going to scroll down until you find the Modern Warfare 3 dedicated server. I own the actual game, so it's no big deal for me, but if you want to get it for free without having to pay for it, all you have to do is download this and use these files to reference through Plutonium. So again, you would just install this and it'll give you all of the files you need for Plutonium. And yes, every Steam account has this in their tools. All you gotta do is open up this dropdown up here. It'll probably just have games ticked. And then you just tick tools as well, and it'll show you everything. Now, once you have Plutonium downloaded and ready to go, and you have Modern Warfare 3, the next thing you have to do is connect the two. So, you're gonna go into your game settings, or it might just be a box here that says setup instead of play. And then you're gonna select the directory. So, the typical Steam install, I'll start over with you guys, is going to be in your local disk C, programs x86, you're going to go to Steam, Steam Apps, Common, you're going to find your Modern Warfare 3, just single click it and hit select folder. Do not double click it, you want to make sure the end of your directory is that Modern Warfare 3 folder, you're not going to be able to check here, so in order to do that you're just going to single click it. Now that you have the game synced up with your plutonium, you are almost ready to play. Let's not get too carried away. First, before you guys launch MW3 and Plutonium, you guys are gonna have to do two more things. This is how you get the DLC. There's gonna be a link in the description. Make sure you download it. It's going to be the Alistair X Hydrix server files. It's going to give you user maps, like with your custom maps so that you can play in lobbies without it having to download for you. And then you're gonna have the DLC. This is very important. So once you unzip the file from the link, this is what you're gonna see. This folder is going to be what you need for DLC, so let's open this first. In order to install your DLC, you're going to go back to your MW3 root directory. So, for me, again, Programs x86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Modern Warfare 3, you're going to open it this time, and you're simply going to drag, I mean, the top three, you don't really need the README, you can if you want it, that's not going to break anything. You're going to drag all three into your root on the bottom, and when you let go, you're just gonna hit replace files if you have to replace any. I don't have to do that, so I'm not going to. Um, for you, it probably won't even say you have anything to replace, but if you have some to replace, not as many as me, just hit replace and just carry on. And that will be your DLC installed, completely ready to go. Now, as for the user maps, we're gonna go ahead and close this folder. For the user maps, you're gonna open up a run window with Windows R. So down here, this bottom left little run window will pop up if you hit Windows R and you're gonna do percent local app data percent, hit okay. This window pops up, let's move please. And now in your local, you're gonna go down to plutonium, storage, IW5, and you see this user maps folder? You might not have it, it might just not exist. Regardless, if there is a user maps folder, you're gonna drag and drop at the bottom and merge them. Same as me, replace files, yes, or whatever. Um, for me, I don't have to do that. Or if there's no folder at all, same thing. You just drag it and drop it at the bottom, and then you have all of the custom maps. Now, without further ado, you are ready to go. You can launch Modern Warfare 3 Plutonium and have a great time. If you guys found this video helpful, please obviously drop a like and comment. It helps a lot. And I hope to see you guys out there. Make sure you also check that link in the description because I'm doing a little montage challenge on Plutonium. So if you're seeing this video right now and not super far in the future, then you have a chance to win 500 bucks. Anyways, enjoy MW3 Plutonium.